Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Do a Level of Majesty Gold HD. Right, we're almost done with all the southern quests. Except for Slay the Mighty Dragon. Forgive the intrusion, your majesty, but you must awaken. The day that Julek the prophet spoke of is upon us. The mighty dragon, Vendril, has awakened from his thousand-year slumber in the mountains of doom and is attacking the realm. There is little time. You must recruit forces to find the weapons that will help destroy this threat before the kingdom becomes a scorched, barren waste. Send heroes to find the sword of Byron the Dragon Smiter. This manner of blade is the only known weapon that may cleave Vendril's hide. Indeed. The only guild you have is a temple to Helia. You don't have the means to build any guilds or temples, so you'll have to find and organize the locals in order to defend your establishment. Use Solarite to rally the guilds lying in the countryside. Find the hidden sword site and destroy it in order to obtain the magic sword, which will make Vendril mortal. Yes, having an immortal dragon attacking you is certainly a very difficult uh, problem. Alright, so let's get to Solari. Now we do start with a library, which is good. Plenty of gold. Ooh, and an extra fountain, so they really want me to uh, have stuff. Now there's not much we can do about Vendril. Well, he's not actually doing much damage, but I'll just have to wait until he becomes bored. Come on, Vendril. Piss off. Alright, he's leaving. Good. Time to send my Solari out to find people. But that's what we we'll have to be facing every time he comes to town. And there's not a bloody thing I can do about it. Majesty, the local blacksmith offers new services. Your Majesty, shall we host a tournament now? Yeah, yeah, let's host a tournament. I'll just make it a combo. Now, Solari are not the best explorers in the world, mostly because they're just intent on protecting uh, the turf. Which doesn't help. Uh, maybe if I raise the reward high enough, they will do it. Kinda want to Im improve my castle, though. And I 
need money. So I'll just have to force money to come into the in the into the castle. Now I have no idea when Vendral might be back because the game doesn't announce that. Solari Solari Whatever you call yourself Having the fairgrounds will help get their level up. How did I figure find that? Never mind. It's not important. It really is not. Oh, here come here he comes again. Build more Solari, maybe it wouldn't be so bad, but come on, Solari. Now the Temple of Helia will be safe for a while. The one f uh, advantage that Solaria have is uh, they believe they have they're not very fel they have very high resistance to uh, elemental attacks. So with the fire breath of dragons doesn't really hurt them as much. Of course, the regular teeth of the dragon do still hurt. And I kind of want him to piece off so I can rebuild. I mean, I'm partially fine with him doing this because, well, they're leveling up like crazy, but at the same time, he's also killing them off. I'm still not getting anywhere closer to getting them to actually move out and do something useful. Yeah, go ahead, attack the godhouse. I don't care about the godhouse. Just really want him to get tired of being around here. Come on, there must be someone. And that's that godhouse. And we're still not doing any damage because, of course, he's impervious to that. Come on, you bloody Solare. Darn, he killed them all. Alright, now get tired and leave. Please leave. 
You've done what you wanted to do. Now leave. Get bored. Finally, he's bored. Alright. I really wish I could re resurrect him, but I need. Finally. So a thousand is enough for them to start looking. And I have no idea if I'm actually anywhere close to where I need to be. Alright, hopefully she will just mill around and start looking for other stuff. Nope, she's turning back. Alright. This just extortion rights for these Solari to actually do what I want them to do. At least help defend the city against those rats. I serve with pleasure. Well, at least they're getting high level weapons, and some of that money is certainly recouped by me. Goblins. Of course, goblins. So much for that. All right, come on. You could have just taken a straight path there, you know, not go all around the edge. I don't care. I really hope they find a ranger's guild somewhere. She's returning home, I think. And she's taking a very direct path, so that'll re reveal some places. Well... Ooh! You don't often get Temples of Lunord. Disciples, uh, Lunals in this case, 
Adept, really. Adepts are very good at defending city uh, cities themselves. So they will help defend everything that I've built. Of course, that doesn't really help me when Vendral returns. Um, well, pity, but I already collected the gold from it, so... Now I just really need to find some more other locations that I can use. And get rid of all these creature dens that are harassing my settlement. Ooh, rogues! Good. Rogues are quite eager to do whatever is needed for as little money as possible. And that's just a house that doesn't really expose anything useful to me. A level 30 rogue? Wow. That's indeed f not a library, good. That might mean wizards. Evil Oculi, that's not good. Leave my gold alone. But we're finding stuff, so we're still in the game. In the is At least now I know where to look. Yes, wizards. Of course, this doesn't really explain where the sword is buried. So what do I have in here? Oh well, I will see you all 